Ladies and gentlemen, boys and squirrels, welcome to Nathan's Pop Hunt. I'm the Nathan. These, of course, are the pops. This is my giant thing. And this is a new mystery box. We have the Funko Funhouse UK mystery box. Um, this is a new mystery box from a new Funko group um, uh, run by a guy called Ben, Benjamin, um, who I had a bit of a chat with recently, discussed mystery boxes and stuff like that. And he told me they were doing this one on this group. So, yeah, I thought I'd get one. Um, in fact, it, to be honest, I forgot that they were doing one. And then he sent me a message saying that some people had cancelled or not paid or whatever and wanted to know if I wanted it. So, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a interesting dents and stuff on the box. It's a Marvel mystery box. Now, the top picks are... Um, well, I'll show you here. It's... The Infinity Saga collectible boxes pops. It's Black Panther and Star Lord. Um, however, I've been on the Facebook this evening, this morning, whenever it was, and they've already been picked. So they've already been pulled out of the boxes. So yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see what we get. There's going to be two or three pops here, I believe, and they're going to be Marvel pops. So let's get into the box, shall we? Um, while we do this, uh, interesting thing, a bit of newspaper there. Um, so, yeah, while we do that, of course, like the video, comment below. Did you get one of these? Have you ever heard of them? Do you want to join the Facebook group? Just comment, this, that, and the other. Uh, subscribe, of course, and then notification bell. Simple as that. Uh, so, we've got, I mean, I think this is newspaper, this seems to be magazine pages. We have a Century Overload from HTC Vive. We have um, a jacket that's got central heating on it. We've got The Art of Driving Without Driving from James Baldwin, who won Glorious, the world's fastest gamer. Never heard of him. And a sunken statue of Jesus. All sorts in these boxes, don't you? Uh, we also have Harry Bow. Uh, this seems to be something that a lot of people are doing just recently. Chucking a box of ha a bag of Harry Bow in as well. It might mean I've got crap pops <laughs> because they're like, here's some sweets, so sorry. But hey, we've got three pops, so uh, let's have this one first. We have, ooh, wong. So, this feels like it's in a protector, so I don't know if the other two are, but we almost dropped it. Um, this might be the, the best one I get. Uh, but yes, wong. Um, Wong is from Avengers Endgame. He's from Doctor Strange. He's quite a cool pop. Um, I haven't actually seen one of these out and about. Uh, they came out for Comic Con last year. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Quite a cool pop. Quite happy with that one. Let's see what else we've got. We've got an original Falcon. Or an OG Falcon at least. Um, also in a pop protector so that's, that's good there. So yes, so if you don't know, this is what Falcon looked like in the comics um, before he became Anthony Mackie. So yeah, quite cool. Um, I don't, I don't know how much he's worth. As usual, we'll we'll have a look in a moment. Um, I paid thirty-five quid, thirty quid plus postage, something along those lines. Um, so yeah, again, not one I've seen in the flesh. But what I do notice is on the back here, you've got. Doctor Strange, which is the exact same mould, if I can rustle this out of the shelf. So this original mould is what they've used on the Black Light Pop. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting. I know they've obviously reused some of the moulds for those, obviously some of the older stuff, but yeah, that's quite cool as well. A few more magazine pages in the bottom there. So that's interesting. And then here we have Gwen Stacy. Or Spider Gwen, as she's more commonly known, which is from the same range as Falcon, wherever I put him up there. Um, so you have Spider Gwen um, without her hood on. So yeah. So I've seen in the Spider Verse, she's in that. Uh, again, same range on the back. So yeah, so that's quite cool as well. Um, I'm not unhappy. Uh, yeah. 
So that may change in a moment. Let's have a look how much all this is worth. We've had a look there. Um, what I did men do need to mention is it's not guaranteed value, um, but they do try to put it as uh, less, no less than 15% under pop directory value. I think that makes sense. The value, yeah. <laughs> I would get no less than 15% less than my value. Yeah. Um, so Falcon, £8. Pretty happy with that. Pretty standard. Um, Spider Gwen is the next one at £10. Stop. Hold up. Maybe for the future. Um, that's the wrong price. If you'll notice, Spider Gwen Unmasked is now £11. This is like a week and a half, two weeks later. And... The Spider-Man, uh, spider went unhooded, which is what I got, is £5. So I looked at the wrong prices. So, sorry about that. And then finally, Wong is still knocking around at about 13 quid. So that's not too bad. So we've got 23, we've got 31 quid. I paid roughly 30 and a bit more for postage. So yeah, I kind of got my money's worth there, really. Um, Technically slightly over if, yeah, if we take out the postage, but I never do, so all inclusive. Uh, yeah, so that's what we've got. We've got the Funko Funhouse UK mystery box, and we've got some Marvel Pops. So well under those guys, they've done a good job with that. I'm pretty happy. What do you think? Do you like them? Comment below. Have you bought one of these? What did you get? Want to see? Uh, but. Again, subscribe, we've got some more stuff. I had a look at my pop in a box stuff uh, after getting the thing and the gargoyle, and there is one more pop on its way. So technically, that has cost me 10 quid. Super. Um, so yeah, so that's coming from the good old US of A, so we'll see that at the end of the month. <laughs> but other than that, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.